Hey everyone, welcome. Today we're going to learn how to build this beautiful hot air balloon. So let's get started. So this is Team Rocket, Meowth, hot air balloon, if you guys are familiar with it. Awesome show, Pokemon. And uh, today we're going to take a look at how to build this little beauty. So first thing you're going to know is you're going to have a 17 height, 17 blocks of height clearance. You're going to need 11 blocks of width nine for the balloon and just one one extra on each side for a little bit of the whisker sticking out in the front these guys right here right and uh you got 13 for lengthwise right so a little bit comes out of the back you got three blocks coming out of the back for the tail and then one extra one coming out for the teeth right so four extra blocks technically playing ahead for the top piece okay so Let's start off by building it right next to the other one. Right. Get yourself up in the air, or if you want to put it down on the ground, that's up to you. First step is you're going to want these oxidized blocks right here. Right. They're not fully oxidized copper, so you're going to want to get the wax weather copper, wax weather cut copper stairs. Okay. And there's also one piece of actual. Uh, full-on block of copper right here which is a wax weather weather copper right so it's not it's one stage before you could get it all the way and then you get yourself the oxidized copper you use an axe to remove one layer and then you use a honeycomb on it and it will stay that way permanently uh, I suggest using a um, stone cutter to get the cut copper stairs you'll get a lot more for your bank for your buck the first piece you're gonna want to put down is this oxidized cut copper I mean, sorry, wax weathered cut, what, wax weathered copper. You could also use a cut copper. It's up to you. Um, then you're gonna surround it right with stairs all around, and then you're gonna put a layer of stairs like so. Now this is all the copper you're gonna need 16 wax weathered cut copper stairs and you're gonna need one wax weathered copper next step you're gonna want 18 total warp trap doors all right you won't put one over here well technically 16 if you don't want to put these two extra right here all right but you want to put those guys right here and an acacia fence on each of these corners all right then um, I, what I suggest is getting yourself some temporary blocks, right? And the next step is you put down your 12 temporary blocks like so. Then you're going to want to come in and put your trap doors like so. Then you want to flip your trap doors but if you're doing this in survival I don't suggest flipping the trap doors I suggest what you want to do right at this point is build yourself another bigger temporary platform so that way you could work and get yourself some scaffolding because uh, this is going to be a very painful moment for you if you don't so Next up, you're going to want you to get yourself some iron bars, and we're not going to worry about this part yet. Don't worry about that. We're going to try to, we're going to focus on this actual cabin first, okay? Next, you put down an iron bar on top of each of these acacia fences. Yeah. And then you want to put down an extra acacia fence on top of these iron bars. Then you build yourself iron bar cage right on top. Literally just fill in the entire spot with iron bars. Normally it will be an X shape in the show, like so, but we can't really do that in Minecraft, so we're gonna go for a plus shape. And then finally you put up an extra step, an extra set of bars right here. Then you go ahead and place a trap door like so. Like so, like so, and like so, 
and this is where you're gonna want to put your campfire I don't know if you want to put it in just yet maybe you want to put it in at the end however you this is where it goes and now we're pretty much done with the actual cabin right I'm gonna remove these temporary blocks but you should still have a temporary platform set up for yourself so that way you, if you're in survival you could build much easier next you go ahead and get yourself some andesite stairs and go ahead and place yourself a temporary block right on top of your campfire now you put the andesite stairs like so and you can remove the temporary block at this point if you're not doing this in survival but in survival I recommend you keep that there for until you're probably done building right now the next step is uh, the simple hot air balloon trick right so or we're gonna just build a 9 by 9 sphere right if you saw my tutorial for this you should be quite familiar with it so one two three four five on this fifth one we go ahead and put ourselves a marker block and then build out four more blocks out this way these are temporary blocks remember build out four in each direction and on the fourth one is actually going to be the face if you don't want if you're afraid of losing materials or whatever you could actually place the material that we're going to be working with on here so next step is we're going to just build ourselves out the general shape of the hot air balloon this is very simple you go ahead and add extra two spots on each of these corners right get yourself a nice plus sign going and then you fill in each of these repeat the process for each of the corners that you see here you use smooth sandstone and the way to get the smooth sandstone is you take your sandstone and you run it through a furnace right and you get smooth sandstone that way in case you're wondering what how do you get this in survival and if you're doing it in survival and how you get sandstone is you just take sand four pieces of sand and you pack it down using crafting table into one sandstone or you could always just mine straight up sandstone and run it through a furnace the next step is you're going to want to build yourself a temporary platform like so on the inside right and you get yourself some stairs uh, some smooth sandstone stairs and you build yourself up a little platform like so now remember we're not putting anything on this block right here All right next you're gonna want to get yourself a temporary block right here okay and fill in the outline all around the inside loop like so of the, the balloon Now, always keep in mind that these corners always interact. Don't forget about that. Don't get thrown off by it, okay? So you're always starting to build. The next one, that was your only temporary block that you needed back there. You always start off of this corner, and then you continue building the outline all the way around. Okay?
Now, when we finally get to the top, right? Don't forget, fill in these spots right here, right? And pretty much we're done with the actual balloon minus this little corner right here. Okay? At this point, you could remove these blocks right here and fill it back up. with the proper faces right and if you're doing this in survival I recommend putting in some scaffolding going down to here and removing these temporary blocks for now maybe leaving the one marker right here just in case right and just so you guys don't feel left out here we go so you would have your scaffolding going up over here, right? And depending if you want to have, if you have an extra little bit of space or you want to go in here, but I recommend getting this extra little bit of loop and putting in a birch trap door right on top, right here, you crouch. And just in case you want to access going in and out, you can do so. Now for these parts, we get a little bit creative, okay? so. You're going to want to pick up your smooth stone slab just to save on space, right? You put yourself a temporary block right here, okay? And then you put yourself uh, smooth sandstone stairs like so, upside down. And then you go reach right here and you put your smooth sandstone slab right here, okay? Like so. And then you repeat the process the same way. Remember, it's not going to look, it's not going to be universal on this side as it is on this side because you're always going to be facing it from like so from the left side and putting it like so right so if i'm over here once more you put the block right here and you put a smooth sandstone stair right here and you do it again once again you repeat the process on this side i'm facing it like so that means i put a temporary block right here smooth sandstone stairs and then smooth sandstone slab right there finally on the last block we put another temporary block right like there and we put another smooth sensor stair and smooth sensor slab you could probably accomplish it from the inside i'm pretty sure i did it on my creative world like that now we're, we're done with the actual hot air balloon as you can see the next step is we're gonna go ahead and add our little bit of twist right and make these parts a little bit smoother on the bottom see how it's very rough and on the top is going to continue staying rough because that's what a hot air balloon kind of looks like okay so we're going to smooth these edges out a bit so instead of these blocks right here we go ahead and put some sandstone stairs like right so same thing on each side And this is why it's very smart to have that little bit of temporary block set up for yourself for your items to be caught or just in case you don't fall down yourself now at this point you're going to want to choose which side is your face for me we're going for ease of access we're just going to go ahead and choose this side you're going to move this part right here of meow's chin right and you're going to want to also remove this part right here of each of these as well right Okay, so at this point, you're going to want to go ahead and remove this side on the side, right? You're going to put this block right here and put a sandstone slab like there, like so. And now this will be your back, the tail side, right? The tail end. You go ahead and remove this block right here and you go ahead and face it like so. Same thing on this side, right? You go ahead, put a block right here. You go ahead and put a temporary block right like so. And then you go ahead and put another block right here right now finally you remove this block and then you go ahead and smooth it out see how we're getting a good nice smooth little transition that's what we're going for now as far as the face it, it's gonna get a little bit hectic from here we're pretty much done with the back minus the tail right so this is where we start to get creative right we're gonna go ahead and get get our smooth sandstone stairs and put them right here 
and then we're gonna go ahead and put a smooth sandstone slab right here and put another smooth sandstone slab right there I'm gonna go ahead and put a pointed dripstone right underneath these two pieces and you see how it's starting to finally come together right next step we're gonna go ahead and start removing the eyeballs it gets a little bit tricky from here there's only so much we could do to accomplish with such a small space right but you're gonna start seeing it come together in a second so now that you have your opening you're gonna go ahead and put your smooth sandstone stairs like so and like so and you go ahead and you put your smooth sandstone slab right here and right here right the next step is you're gonna to want to go inside the hot air balloon and you go ahead and you put your smooth quartz stairs remember you get your smooth quartz by running it through a furnace running quartz through a furnace and you go ahead and put them right here and then I use personally I use a black of lapis lazul but you could also use any sort of blue wool or any other blue material and you put it right underneath and you put the deep slide tiles right here right and now you're done with the eyeballs so just for reference that's the center right See that? Next step is you're going to want to remove this piece of uh, smooth sandstone and replace it with two blocks of gold. Okay, so the next step is we're going to want to smooth this transition of the face, right? We're going to go ahead and put a block of sandstone right there and two sandstone stairs like so, right? Same thing on the other side. Then you're going to want to remove this block right here and place your sandstone stairs like so right facing that way and remove the block right here same thing and place your sandstone stair facing like so now we're going to focus on the ear we have ourselves a little platform to work with and it's going to be much easier so we're going to place it, our purple stairs right here you get these by getting the coarse fruit and running it through a furnace All right get yourself stairs like so Next up, we're going to remove this block right here, same thing over here, and place our, our black stone stairs right here, right, same thing on this side, then we're going to put a black stone stairs like so, and same thing on this side, right, next step is you're going to want to build up on your black stone step, Sorry. on your black stone stairs, then you're going to want to build on the side of your purple stairs like so. You're going to want to build yourself a little platform like right here. And you put a black stone stair like so. And then finally another one like so. And we have ourselves an ear. Same thing on this side. You put one facing this way. Then you face this way. And then you go ahead and face this way. And bam. You have yourselves an ear final step to finishing off the ear personally I had this little touch you don't really have to birch trap door flip it upside flip it down and another birch trap door and flip it down next step is we're gonna go ahead and work on the whiskers so the first set of whiskers goes like so three birch fences going out like this then it gets a little bit tricky so we we'll are go ahead and put it right in front of the ear once more in front of the ear and then the final one goes right under the ear going like so and it goes on a diagonal like so and now we're gonna want a temporary block going off of this temporary block going off of this as well and boom remove the temporary block boom remove the temporary block we have ourselves whiskers now let's tackle the tail to tackle the tail we go ahead and pick, go to our back corner right here face this way put it upside down stair like that and then you put a stair like so right so you get yourself a little platform coming out okay then you put a stair like so and at this point you're going to want a temporary block right here right you go ahead and put another 
Smooth sandstone stair right here. And another smooth sand. Now remove the temporary block. Put the sandstone stair right here. And then you go ahead and put a sandstone stair right there. Okay, so then the next step is you're going to want to go ahead and get your mud bricks. To get the mud bricks, you go and run. Uh, you get yourself some mud. You get uh, wheat. And you get yourself some packed mud. And then you get the mud bricks. Right? And then you put a mud brick like so. Mud brick like so. You're going to want a temporary block right here. And put a mud brick right here. And another mud brick right here. At this point, we're going to build a series of these right here. So, two mud bricks. Two mud brick stairs. Two mud bricks. Two mud brick stairs. Then, you go ahead and fill in the mud brick stairs like here. And right here. Alright. The next step is... We're going to go ahead and put a mud brick block, mud bricks right here, right? And then we're going to go ahead and put mud brick stairs right there and put a block of mud bricks right there. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and go on the back of these, right? And put upside down mud brick stairs and then right side up mud brick stairs like so. Then on the inside loop, you go ahead and put a mud brick stair right here. You go ahead and put mud brick block right there. Then you go ahead and put mud brick block, mud brick stairs right here, mud brick stairs right there. Then next step is you go ahead and put mud brick block right there and mud brick block right there and right there. So the next step is you're going to want to put one upside down right here, mud brick stair right here, right? Then you're going to put a mud brick stair like so, mud brick stair like so, and mud brick stair like so, and mud brick stair like so. And we have ourselves a tail. So the final part is that we we got to remove this block right here. And then put a mud upside down stair right here. And then you go ahead and put an, a slab right here. Right? And you go ahead and... And on this side, we go ahead and, and put a sandstone stair right here. And we put another sandstone stair into the corner like so. And the next part is quite simple, really. So we go ahead and put an upside... Oh, uh, sorry. We put a smooth sandstone slab on the top part right here, and you build out a temporary, two temporary blocks like so, right? Remove the first temporary block, and you put a smooth sandstone stair right here. And this should go right underneath the whisker. High five. I mean, damn. <laughs> yeah. What up? It's my boy. And then the last part is that we're going to go ahead and put install these iron bars. So don't get discouraged. It's actually quite simple. So at these points, you're going to want to go ahead and connect your metal bars. That's where they all going to end up at. Okay. This point right here. This point right here. This point right here. And this point right here. Okay. So from the back ones, they go ahead and extend down by two. I mean by three. Like so. The front ones, they extend, and the, on the one on the on the arm, extends by two, and this one right here extends down by three. Okay, so now we have our little anchor points that we can work our way back towards. Each of these is going to be an anchor point, right? So you're going to go ahead, and they're going to be the same on every side. You go out by one. And then you go out this way by another one. Then you build three on top. So four blocks total. Right? Then you're going to want to go ahead and go out by one more block like so. And then you go ahead and go up by three blocks. And it connects. Now you repeat this process for every single one of these corners. Remember, you get yourself an anchor point like so. Right? And you go ahead, go to the left. You go ahead and go up three blocks, so four total. All right? You build out by one. Then you go ahead and build your final three right here, and then it should connect. Once again, you go ahead, build one out. Go ahead and build another one this way. One, two, three. And then you go out one more. 
and one, two. Finally, same process for the final one. Go out like so, and this. Go up by three. And then you go out this way. And you go up by three. And just like that. Don't forget to close your little chute. And you're done. I made one mistake technically. Uh, if you guys want to do this in survival, you want to move this trap door back by one. Okay? So you go ahead and pop that open. Right? And then that way you could have your scaffolding set up right there. Right? And now you could just eliminate these temporary blocks. Bam. And have your scaffolding built up all the way. And just don't forget to replace this sandstone. And just like that, you're done. So here's a final look. Just in case so you guys get everything right. Below. Top. On the side. Below. Up top. On the back, on below, All right? Back to up top, and see in the tail there's no design on the back, but on the front you get this little swirl, right? And then from this side, bottom, and from the top. And on that note, I guess I'll see you guys next time. And it looks like Team Rock is blasting off again.